And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. All right, tonight is the last night of 2016 for this New Year's Eve. We've been seeing plenty of clouds for today. Some breaks in the clouds, but for tonight we expect mostly cloudy skies. We see more clouds coming in from the west and actually a few showers out west in Mexico. I think the rain chances should be less than 10% for tonight, but there is a better chance for that patchy overnight fog. Temperatures have cooled off into the 60s. We had some 70s this afternoon, 75 for the high in West Laco. Right now, 60 in Rio Grande City, 69 in Raymondville, 67 in Brownsville, and 66 in McAllen, 67 in Harlingen. If you're going out for this evening, no Major problems at least for the first part of tonight with mostly cloudy skies. There's a temperature right around midnight, 65 degrees. The overnight low should dip into the lower 60s. And after that chance for some patchy fog late tonight and early tomorrow morning, we should have partly cloudy skies for New Year's Day afternoon. It is a warm start to 2017 with a high temperature of 84 degrees. But there is a strong cold front on the way for next week. First things first, they plan or forecast patchy fog possible 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 64 degrees, mostly cloudy skies at noon with a temperature of 80 and we're down to 78 degrees at 5 p.m. So here's one front draped over North Texas and West Texas. Note the snow falling over northern New Mexico near Albuquerque, Santa Fe, as well as the Texas and Oklahoma Panhandles. A lot of rain this evening. Meanwhile, for southern Louisiana and Mississippi pushing off to the east, the heaviest rain in the red. Now, sadly, this front will not make its way into the valley. Instead, it's going to push northward as a warm front and bypass us. The second frontal boundary also will just fizzle out over Louisiana and East Texas. So for us, you guessed it, it's going to stay warm for the first half of the first week of 2017 with temperatures each day in the 80s for tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday. But a strong cold front finally should arrive here in the valley by this coming Wednesday morning. So that's going to drop our temperatures into the 70s, perhaps in the morning on Wednesday. And then we're looking at high temperatures in the 60s for Thursday. And then get this 50s by next Friday. So hang on. The colder weather is on the way for the second half of next week. On the water, small craft should use caution, especially for the offshore waters. We have winds out of the southeast at 10 to 16 knots. Bay waters are moderate chop. Your next tide is a low tide at 11 to 1 tonight, and the high tide is at midnight right on the button. New Year's Day, seas are 3 to 7 feet. So for tonight, mostly cloudy skies are in the forecast for New Year's Eve celebrations. A very, very slight chance of a shower, only 10% or less, but a better chance for that patchy late fog. It's going to be cool tonight with a low temperature of 62. Then for tomorrow, after that chance for some fog in the morning, some sunshine will call it partly cloudy for the afternoon and still warm with a high temperature of 84 degrees. We'll have winds out of the southeast to south at 10 to 15 miles an hour. So the average high temperature for this time of year is 70 degrees. We're going to be above average, well above average for the first half of the week. 84 tomorrow, 86 on Monday, 83 on Tuesday, 74 on Wednesday, and then below average highs for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thanks to the front. Again, the front arrives Wednesday. Ahead of that, we've got mostly sunny skies for your Monday and Tuesday. Partly cloudy skies for Wednesday with morning lows in the mid 50s, high of 74. That might be reached in the morning on Wednesday. And then look at that behind that front on Thursday. Break out the jackets and sweaters and coats, especially for Friday. We're down to 64 on Thursday. Mostly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers. Cloudy and chilly on Friday with high of only 54 and a 30% chance of rain as well. Down to 43 perhaps by next Friday night. That's your first one five forecast. Now here's Brandon with a look at sports.